Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me. So today I'm gonna do a nail tutorial. I'm gonna do my toes. I'm just gonna run through with you guys some other stuff that I'm gonna use. The simple tool that I'm gonna use to accomplish a look. So first you have, I'm gonna really using this nail glue I get at a local beauty store using this to remove any um, messed up look that I have created this is the toenail that I'll be using this is used to separate the toe to prevent it from messed up when you color it these are the colors I'm using uh, this, I already put this on my nail my toenail as the top coat and this is the two colors I'll be using these are the different, different type of file this is a nail foam this is mostly used to take up like sprinklers and stuff like that to use to decorate the toe this is another nail but this is for my fingers this is the acrylic the one that I use is this type it is colored pink this is for the cubicles which is the side to hydrate it to hydrate it so it's not dry this is another nail tool this is the brush that I'll be using to apply the acrylic this now is used to dry the nail polish faster and this is my acrylic liquid I just place it in this container why because I don't know I just place it in there this is a brush so when you file your toe and to remove the dust you just use this to get rid of it so i'm gonna start my little 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 toe to y'all so what i'm gonna do now is to apply the hmm, apply the acrylic on this i'm gonna do it first without putting it on my toe so i'm not gonna put it on my toe i'm just gonna apply it right here for me, it's, I can't handle it better that way. I don't want to mess it up. So that's it. This is an acrylic. <laughs> this is the acrylic liquid, as I said earlier. It is very strong. So I'd advise you when doing it, wear a mask. If you don't have any, get a cloth or handkerchief and put it around your nose. Subscribe If it is that you can bear the smell, Subscribe. Go ahead and do it. So as you see, I just applying them. In order to apply them good, I just pat it on. Yeah. Pat it on. And it's good to have a to my cloth close to you to remove the excess, excess product from the brush. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is to continue applying. And to me this is challenging. I still haven't mastered it as yet because it takes time and practice. I remember when I first started doing it, I messed it up. So I'm gonna try and speed up this process for you, then get back. Alright, so I have finished applying the I am finished applying the acrylic liquid and the acrylic. So I try my best to apply it on the nail smooth. I try my best. This is one of my challenge while when doing nails. My challenge challenge is to apply oh shit, it haven't dry as it. Oh my gosh. So I'm just gonna let it dry for a bit make it equal as in straight and everything is in line so after you put it on and you're satisfied with it well whether or not you're satisfied with it it can't come off if it's weird to time it gets still because I don't know what to use to get this off now if I did it if I apply it and I'm not I don't like how I apply it so I have to just work with it until I time to take it off but I time it fall off by itself actually 
Oh yes, you can soak it in a, um, a, it fall off. Then after it has fallen off, I just take the buffer and buff it down. So I work mostly in shoes, so for those persons who work in shoes mostly, I'd advise you to file it down to a point where it is comfortable within the shoes because trust me you don't want to put this on in a shoes and then it will burn you the whole day in a nice so I'll normally file it down to where I think it won't burn me and then rub my toes rub the nails on the shoes so yes, I think this is Ooh, ooh, ooh. Anyway, my god, girl, him love me when I sorry, my bad. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just trying to level it out. So if it is that when I was applying the acrylic and the liquid together, it wasn't as smooth as how I would want it. But it's a lot of work, so I'll advise that you do more practice on getting it level when applying the acrylic and the liquid to the nail. Because if it is that you do put it on on a level and it is <coughs> it's not leveled, it have a lot of filing to do. And then I want I want to buy the the nail drill that will help to reduce um, the amount of filing that you will do manually because it is electronic so yeah so even if they're not perfect as yet like myself when applying the acrylic and the liquid you can still put them on and if it is that you want some assistance with rubbing it down and to make it more level off you can use the drill it is most much much easier than using um the file itself so this is where this brush come in brush away all the particles from filing and i try my best when i'm doing this for my nail to look very very natural as you can see it's looking natural I'm pleased with this and as I said I am not a professional I recently started doing nails this year I don't remember the month exactly but I didn't go to any classes or anything as I said I just do it for fun and eventually what what I do, I do for fun I like uh, I tend to be more interested in it and not really to take it as a at a professional level I don't know as yet but for now it's just to mm, practice more and to get better at it all right so this is my next toe it as you notice my toe is a little bit black because the first time I remember doing my toenails, I wore it in a shoe and as I explained earlier it was rubbing and it created a bruise in between my toe and from that I can't seem to get rid of it so that's why that color but I try my best to file it down and treat it as possible. So some of the acrylic is on the other side. So what I'm going to do is to use this and file it.
I try my best for it to look natural. So this is the cubicle, cubicle hydrator. Yeah. So I'm just gonna use it around the side. So though I, I don't have a particular amount of coat that I put on, I put on as much as possible for it to look well coated. I don't have no three coat or no four coat. I go over it any amount of time I feel to just to ensure that. Give it up easy. When we love somebody, me have to give it up easy. When we love someone, I have an ass with my baby. Yeah. Girl, I be thinking about you. And I hope you're thinking of me. Addicted like mango, like papa, like orange, like bread fruit. Come, 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 come. All right, so this look is almost finished. It's a very simple look for beginners like myself, which I, I am a semi beginner. <laughs> because I've done style before so as you see that is the basic some of the basic things that you need well I'm gonna do a tutorial showing some of the basic thing you need in order to start the process yes so if you guys want me to sh do a tutorial showing some of the basic things that you will need to start the process comment down below remember to subscribe like comment share and tell me how I do so what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna finish it up I'm going over going over the pink coat again and I'm gonna add a top coat on this I'm gonna go over the pink coat again then had top coat and that's it so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoy hope you learn something until I see you next time goodbye